I have uh, an empty GitLab account. I do have a group here called Mental, and I have no projects yet. So I'm going to create a, a project and I'm going to import an existing project I already have in GitHub. So I have now a project which I can uh, use as my starting point, which I'll do later. So the, the next step is to add uh, our Kubernetes cluster. So I can add the Kubernetes cluster directly to this project, which is what I'm going to do today. But you could also add it to the group. For example, if you have a group, in this case, I have the code mentor group. If I add the Kubernetes cluster directly to code mentor, then I can use it within any project that belongs to this group. So you can have multiple groups. So you can actually have multiple Kubernetes cluster and you can organize it in the way that you prefer. Okay. So to go and add the Kubernetes cluster is um, simple. So I'm going to add the Kubernetes cluster from here. I'm not creating it from here. I'm going to connect to an existing cluster, which I've already created. I'm going to, I'm going to call it also Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to use this for all the different environments. And now I need to find out what is the API URL for my Kubernetes cluster. So there is a, a GitLab is a page which allows you to go through the steps to add the Kubernetes cluster. And I'm going to show you that. So first thing I need to do is to find the API URL for the Kubernetes master node. So if I run this command, it's going to tell me what is the IP address of the control plane. So I have here an IP address and I'm just going to add that here. Okay. The next step, I need to get CA certificate. You can also get this from the actual Kubernetes cluster. I need to find out which secret first it is. Just add it here. It's the default token, this one. And just need to copy this command and replace the secret name. And I copy this. This is a CA certificate that you need. Be careful uh, when copy and pasting from the code editor. Don't try to use the control C or the command C because you will end up adding line breaks. Just let the cloud shell do the copy. It does it automatically, if you notice that. Yeah, it does it automatically, so you don't have to do it. So. Okay, the next thing I need to find out is uh, the service token. I need to create an YAML file first, and I'll just copy this YAML. By the way, I'll put this link in the description so you know where to get these instructions from. Save this, and then I just need to apply it with kubectl apply. So I need to get the, the secret. So I just copy and paste this command. It will give me what I need. So you copy it from here, this token here. Okay, the last thing that we need to worry about. By default, GitLab will create a namespace in Kubernetes cluster for each environment that you have. And I quite like that option. So I'm going to keep that uh, as the default is. I'm going to allow GitLab to manage the namespace in the cluster and the any service accounts. Because our cluster is also role-based, we are going to leave this setting on. And here, this, this is useful. By default, GitLab will create a very awkward namespace prefix with a number, which you will not be able to memorize. Normally, that number is the project ID, but it's really annoying. So here we have the opportunity of just saying look i want to use my namespace prefix and it can be just called mental and then it will add to that namespace prefix the name of the environment so it should be okay that's it done so our cluster is uh, all set up it can already see that we have three nodes it also sees the amount of memory available and so on that's going to be all for now. Yeah, if you think this video was useful to you, I would appreciate uh, you smash the like button and I'll see you again soon. Happy coding.